Hello, everybody. Yep, it's me, the Crafty Floridian in Florida, not in Virginia, Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, it's been a week now. I came home last Friday. And today is Friday, right? I think it is. Anyway, um, I've been recuperating. <laughs> I need a little vacation. I, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go through everything with you. Well, first of all, the trip to Charlottesville was awesome. It, it was a, a great trip. I got to meet Cheryl and, well, first Wendy, then Cheryl, and then Chevy. And it's the first time the three of us have ever met in person. So my trip started on Friday morning, and I sent y'all some pictures from the airport. <clears throat> had to change planes in Charlotte and then from Charlotte to Charlottesville. Um, really uneventful. Um, the airlines was wonderful. They had a wheelchair waiting for me at um, each stop or at the stop. And uh, then when I got into Charlottesville, they were there with a wheelchair and wheeled me in, thank God. Um, and then when I walked when he wheeled me through to where the luggage is, there's Wendy standing there. And we hugged and hugged. We just didn't want to let each other go. It was so wonderful to uh, finally meet her in person. I feel like my mouth is behind my voice. Do you know what I mean? Jelly bean? Well, I guess it's okay. Anyway, at least you can hear me. I think you can hear me. Let me make sure my uh, sound thing is not turned down. Um, let me turn it all the way up, 100%. There we go. Just in case, just in case. I want everybody to hear me. Yeah, I am the most soft-spoken one of the group. The most, you know, um, um, I didn't get into too much trouble. I was the good girl. Like everybody said, my sister told me to be good. So I was most of the time. Well, there was sometimes I wasn't so good. But anyway, the flight, and it was like the first flight that I've been on for maybe 15 years. So um, being a, um, as y'all did see, I'm a fluffy woman. And the reason I didn't take any flights because I was afraid I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't fit in the chair seat and um so on the first leg this uh the steward what happened to the stewardess i could be a stewardess weight and everything age everything i'd make a good stewardess they don't do anything they don't serve anything no drinks no food no peanuts no pretzels nada and plus you got mask on and I'll tell you the story about that. So anyway, um, they said if you need anything to ask, like water or whatever. So I didn't need anything. Um, I just wanted to crochet and take it easy. And that's what I did on the flight. Um, I got a seat that had a lot more room, which was great because I was able to put my legs out and stretch them out and all that good stuff. They weren't like in my lap. But anyway, so I go to sit down. Of course, the seat belt just, it, it reached, but it wouldn't click in. So the stewardess came by and I said, uh, can I have an extension, please? She said, sure. So she goes to the front and she reads in a thing and then she grabs a, an extension and she holds it behind her back. And then she comes down the aisle and just dropped it. So that nobody could see the hat of extension. <laughs> I thought that was so sweet of her. And two of them did that. Two of the stewardess did that. I thought that was so sweet of them. So on the way down and coming back. Now the other ones, they didn't give it. D double A double, you know, they didn't care less. So um, anyway, that was um, a good trip down. It really was. And to see Wendy there when I got there was just great. She said I was early. She was early, and then my flight was early. No wait time or anything, and then the luggage came, and of course we went over, went to her house. It was about 5 o'clock, I guess, when I got there. 
and um, so you know, pulled my stuff in and she showed me around and it took me about three, four hours to figure out how to get to my room. <laughs> I kept going down the wrong halls or down the wrong way, but once you learn it, you got it. <laughs> so at beautiful accommodations, I had, I think the master bedroom and uh, I had a, a shower, a walk, a big walk-in shower with all the little big round thing with all the water coming out. Ooh was so nice and had bars because I have to have something to hold on to so it was wonderful I mean the accommodation the bed was one of those that you could move it up and down and the foot up the bed down so I'm playing with it and I, I got it just right I got my head up and she had lots of pillows because you know I have to have lots of pillows to keep me steady so I got my CPAC you know I had to carry that and I got my CPAC plugged in and everything and it was so we sat down and we had a bottle of wine I think we had we drank the whole bottle so we had a bottle of wine and then she served um, I think it was the Thai some Thai um, chicken and it was delicious that and pasta and jello she had food that you I mean she had salmon and ham and chicken and um oh that salmon was so good the way she prepared it i just take the whole thing stick it in the oven with a little lemon and butter you know and let it cook but she sears it no it was just i just ate it all up it was so good and um let's see we had so much food she had all kinds of jello uh, like uh, orange with carrots and uh, cranberry stuff and she had pasta salads and veggies and she had my bananas and my cereal and she had Gatorade which I think we went through all the Gatorade but it was just really nice we just had the evening to ourselves and then um, the whole time I was there I got up well she was always up Wendy Wendy was up first and I would go and get a cup of coffee which I don't drink coffee at home I either have tea or Gatorade or something like that I normally don't drink coffee very rarely it depends on how if I've got an appointment that afternoon I'm really tired I'll have a cup of coffee so every morning we would sit in her craft room oh god you wouldn't believe this craft room she has her laptop set up she has all of her um crafts uh, she does a lot of crafts that just aren't yarny so she makes beautiful stuff i mean gorgeous stuff and um so we would sit there every morning and have a little chit chat for about an hour or two and drink a few cups of coffee and and she's got one of those machines you know that has the the little cups and you stick it in there and i had i had a spice apple cider that was delicious i had that quite a bit and hot chocolate and all different kinds of coffee and stuff so it was really really nice and then we'd start our day uh saturday uh cheryl got there cheryl and her husband chuck got there and there is a little video that um that wendy took that she sent me I'm going to try. I don't know if I can do this, but maybe I can insert that video in about right here. There. So that was the video. If, if it happened, if I could do that, that's where this is going to be. And that was 9.08. But anyway, I'm going to try to do some editing. I, it'll probably take me forever to do it, but we'll try to do that. So I have that video. I've got to figure out how to get it from there to here and all that good stuff. So we'll work it out and um let's see what else so Cheryl got there and Chuck and Chuck uh, we oh taco soup she made taco soup soup and so we had that for like a lunch lunch dinner kind of thing on Saturday um, Chuck and Cheryl and myself and well Cheryl doesn't eat a lot of um, kind of foods because of the uh, bypass thing so she um so chuck had the taco soup and he liked it and it was good it was very good 
and um, let's see. And what did we, oh, cornbread. She made cornbread with real corn. Oh, God. I mean, we had that all the whole week. I mean, that cornbread was to die for. She has, uh, she has, one, two, three, four. She has about four or five refrigerators. <laughs> and they were all packed. She'd been cooking for weeks. And she made me my favorite dessert, which is tiramisu. And it was luscious. And as the week went on, it got better and better and better. It was delicious. So that was Saturday. And we visited and talked and, and you know, then we got Chucky gone uh, in the evening. You know, we sat around, talked and Chucky. And we each, it, she has a gathering room. Well, we called it, we started calling it the gathering room, but it, it, she has two kitchens. So it's in the second kitchen in the, in the, on this one wing of the house. And it's huge and has a fireplace and all that stuff. So we kind of all just picked a chair and nested there. We had our crocheting and our knitting and all that good stuff. So that was, that was, um, we were nesting and it was easy to nest there. I'll tell you, it was just. I mean, you didn't feel bad by bringing your stuff and sitting beside your chair and you didn't have to pick it up at night and take it back to your room. You just left it there. It was, it was just, you felt so relaxed at home, no anxiety. It was, it was, um, you had to worry about anything. She wouldn't let you do the dishes. She has a dishwasher. She wouldn't use the dishwasher. She likes washing dishes. That's what she said. Now she likes watching dishes. Of course, I don't like watching dishes, but I like putting them in a dishwasher. So, but she wouldn't let us do any of that. Um, I think Cheryl did some dishes, did dishes in the second uh, kitchen. But anyway, that was our gathering room. That's where we played games and talked and all that good stuff and talked and talked. So that was Saturday. And I think, no, we didn't sit outside. Well, maybe sure. I'm trying to, you know, this is hard to go back, but I think we might have sat outside on Saturday. I can't remember. But anyway, then Sunday comes along, you know, we take a shower and get dressed and all this stuff. And the mystery guest is due on Sunday. So um, I noticed, I kept asking, you know, um, Wendy, what time's the mystery guest? She saw this afternoon, early afternoon or whatever. And I'm sitting there doing my thing in my chair, my little nesting area, you know, we had my knitting, I mean, crocheting and knitting. And, um, and I asked Cheryl, I said, when is she leaving for the airport? Isn't she going to go pick her, pick the mystery guest up? And Cheryl says, I don't know. And then all of a sudden Cheryl's sitting there and in her chair and Wendy was sitting on her couch and all of a sudden Wendy gets, I think she got a phone call or something. Now that I remember, she did get a phone call. So anyway, she leaves and we're sitting there and I'm, you know, talking and carrying on in my chair. And uh, I just, I just looked up and I went, what the hell? I, oh, who is that? <laughs> I don't know. It just, all of a sudden it just, I was shocked. And there stood Chevy Rail. I went, OMG. I was so taken back and she just came over and gave me the biggest hug and then I got out of my seat and I gave her another big old Billy booby hug she called it Billy's boob booby hug and um, she is just so um, she's gorgeous she's absolutely gorgeous of course I love her eyes and uh, her smile her whole deme demeanor dem you know what I'm talking about so we just had a um, unbelievable. Now she got the bedroom in the in the in the wing with the gathering, so she got a bedroom bath in there, and Cheryl was upstairs in a bedroom in a bath, and um, Wendy slept wherever she fell asleep. <laughs> I know Wendy. <laughs> no craft room. She had the craft room. That's where she went and she slept in there. Um, let's see that was Saturday and um, I think we went outside and we talked and you know did all that stuff and then we had dinner I can't remember what we had that night 
and we just kept telling her not to cook but just have leftovers you know because there was so much food and um so that was sunday then monday monday i think we sat outside by the pool they have a had a big table and we sit there and took our crocheting and knitting and we'd sit there and we talked and crocheted and knit and ate and i'm telling you i was going to stick i did not stick to my diet my diet went out the window you know because i'm gluten-free uh, lactose tolerance all that stuff and i i basically eat a very blandish kind of diet you know rice and potatoes and a little meat different kind of meat and, and i have to have a green and she had salads too so um um i just when i saw she brought out pumpkin bread what no banana bread zucchini bread raisin bran muffins and then this coffee cake thing now, how am I going to eat cereal when I've got all that laying in front of me? So that's what I, we ate a lot. That's what I ate a lot for breakfast. I am a breakfast person. And then there was a couple mornings I did have my, well, I had my dad, tried to do a banana every day because of my legs. But, um, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's that was breakfast. We kind of did one or two meals a day. It was, you know, we didn't do whole three I think it was um so Monday I think Monday is when we did the tarot cards I think that's when we did the tarot cards I can't remember now Tuesday was a busy day we went um we went to what did we do first oh the four of us where did we go first besides stopping at every gas bathroom between there and oh we went into charlottesville first well they um wendy got a wheelchair that was eric's and she got it out for me <laughs> and my friend cheryl um got to push me up <laughs> and then finally i got i said you guys you can't do this you know so I walked up the hill of course I'm paying for it now right and then coming down we um I ended up walking down and I'm paying for that too so anyway um we went into mug pie that's the yarn shop there a lot of places were a lot of the places were closed but we went into mug pie and that was my first yarn shop I've ever been in and whew, prices whoo jump back jack but anyway i did oh I, I showed you on my live speaking of that i am going to put cheryl's and um chevy's uh, your uh channel in the live i haven't done that yet this is the first time i've really been on this i talked on it the other day with cheryl but i haven't um done anything i haven't turned this thing on i just I just had to get my strength and my energy back because I was pooped, really pooped. So we went to Mug Pie and then we went from there, we went to, and this was like in the little Charlottesville mall, it's called a mall, but it's really just a close off street and um, brought back a lot of memories. Yeah, used to go down there for the UVA games. You know when I was young <laughs> so anyway so we had a good time in the in the uh, yarn shop I got that one scan of yarn sock yarn so I want to try to uh, make socks and I want to do both of them at the same time so I've got to ask Chevy for if she has a pattern for doing that I asked her <laughs> I just sent her a message and I said, um, can you tell me what the name of the app is that you used on your phone for, for video, you know, to, for video, uh, editing? Well, she sends me three smiley faces. <laughs> she didn't, I don't think she read the, I don't think she read the message. She just sent me five smiling faces, but that's all right. I understand when you're busy, you're busy. So, um, 
after that, then we went to Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Tavern, and that's where we had lunch, had barbecue, pork barbecue. It was pretty good. It wasn't bad at all. And um, then we went into the shops, and there I saw my cozies. There was a few cozies there. And the next day, um, Erica called me and told me that's that's Wendy's daughter. She has two daughters, Erica and, Ta and Ta uh, Taylor. And Erica called to tell me that uh, they sold two more cozies that day. So there wasn't that many, but there was a few. So I think the, there were more little ones than there were big ones. So they're still there and they're not buying anything new. I mean, you know, everybody, because of this pandemic, you know, we're all in pretty, the shops were, in fact, they had, they had a, one little house that was like artistic house, but well, that was completely closed. They moved it down to the bigger one. So it's a shame. It really is a shame. So anyway, we did that and then we went to the apple orchard. Well, when we left Mickey Tavern, Erica gave me two bottles of uh, wine that they had. It was open. They were open and said, take these home to mom. So I grab them and, you know, we put them in the car and so on and so forth. Well, when we got the apple orchard, I, there was no way I could have walked. Um, I, no, I've had enough. So I said, I'll stay in the car. And I even did a little video in the car. Now, if I can get that video, <laughs> I will enter that video right here. Did it work? I don't know. We'll see. But I will, I'm going to, I'm going to try to edit and, and I'll put that little video right here. And I showed you the scenery um, that surrounds the or or the apple orchard, and it's at the top of the hill. And Chevy was driving. They don't have mountains where she lives, <laughs> but we couldn't have Wendy drive because she can't drive those. She her eyes are shut when she does it. <laughs> I would have driven, but we you know we left it up to the young girls. I, I just so hard I don't know if you guys feel this way especially when you're over a certain age it's so hard to face the reality that there's some things you just can't do the body just won't do it but my mind my heart my soul everything I want to do everything and I've always always like that I love doing stuff like that but I just can't anymore and it's I it hit me hard that I not able to uh, to do the things that I really want to do so anyway they what did they buy I don't think they bought oh 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 um, Chevy bought me some um, apple cider on crushed ice oh, oh, oh it was so good that was so sweet of her ask I, I forgot to pay her for it jeez i have to take care of that I, I even made a little list here i mean not a little list but a list because i was going to make this one video and then i was going to i'll do a video on on the uh, artsy fartsy stuff next uh okay what to the effort well and after that we went home and i think we continued we were late and then we did the live and if you want the live it's on my channel and it's a live broadcast if you want to read it i've watched it i watched it the other night first time on tv i laughed my l-a-m-a -A. yep i did i was so we were so funny i couldn't believe it it was so funny it was so much fun that night was just so much fun and i you know it was just a riot and um so if you want to watch that i'll put a link below here oh god i've got so many links to remember well i should write them down shouldn't i um but anyway we'll put that down there so we did the live and then um we went into the gathering room and cheryl and wendy fell asleep in their chair and on the couch and uh chevy and i just drank beer and kept on talking yeah drink beer i had beer which i haven't had in years i did i drank two i think but with chevy you know you got i kept up with her didn't i chevy didn't i chevy 
Didn't I, Chevy? Whoops. Maybe that was a lie. I don't know what that was that dropped. Anyway, it dropped. So, um, yeah, we did that because we knew she was leaving the next day, which was Wednesday. Then Wednesday, um, my very good friend Karen uh, lives in Northern Virginia, and she came, and she got there about 11, and, 11, 11.30, and I slept till almost 11. And I wasn't with her. I mean, I was tired because I was celebrating with Chevy <laughs> till two o'clock in the morning but anyway Karen came and we had a lovely visit and I cannot tell you how gracious Wendy was she made a little lunch and brought it out we sat by the pool and we talked and um, it, it, Karen and I caught up and uh, uh, Wendy just joined right in with the group it was it was just with us I and it turns out they they're the same age and we, we we all three went to separate schools together and that means that we were in the same area in northern virginia but we went to separate schools we were rival schools the three of us mclean falls church and i think she went to mary washington is that where she went anyway so that's where karen went so we i had a lovely visit and at four o'clock Chevy had to go to the airport and Karen left. So we had a lovely, just a lovely, lovely time. And it was so good to see Karen. Karen, I love you. I always love you. You've always been very supportive and, and you don't know how much that means to me. And um, it was hard to say goodbye to Chevy. I even had tears in my eyes. I didn't want her to go. I really didn't. I just enjoyed her company immensely. So, um, then Thursday it was just us three girls and, um, I think Cheryl and, oh, I forgot on Monday, uh, Wendy and, Wendy and Chevy went out. I was, I was really tired, so I didn't go. And they went to a winery and a beer joint. I mean, they come back and they're half loop. <laughs> I think Chevy had a little bit too much at the winery or the wherever she was, wherever they went. But they had a good time and they got to meet um, uh, Taylor and Erica. Uh, Taylor, I don't know if it was Taylor or Erica. But anyway, she got to meet one of the girls and they they hit it off. Their same same age group in the thirties. So here we had four women. Um, Chevy's like 39, um, Cheryl is like 49, and then there's Wendy who's in her 60s, and I'm in my 70s, but yet we all came together and we just, it was marvelous. We learned a lot about each other, and it was just a really good time. So, let me see, um... I don't know if I told you about my, on the first, when I got to Charlotte, I think I told you, I don't know, told you in the live, I can't remember, but I'm over against this petition where the handicapped people are, and right across from me is this man and a dog. Well, this man is read, is on his phone, reading, reading, reading. He gets up, he's still reading, he's walking back, and then he comes back, he's read, on his phone, looks at his chair he backs up to his chair he go he's still reading on his phone and he backs up and then he sits down on the floor <laughs> it was so funny i and thank god i have a mask on because i'm cracking up and this this guy next to me was cracking up too i'll tell you something that was, it was really funny now i didn't take a picture because i didn't have my i I had trouble maneuvering everything that I had in my hands and carry on and oh just a mess so then there was in the same airport a guy said there was like one of those round barriers you know but I could see him next to me he and his girlfriend or wife got up to leave well his jeans the belt of his jeans was hanging around his knees and then you could see his underwear and then something else maybe a shirt a tail shirt of his it's all hanging down I'm going boy the guy the boy's gonna lose his pants 
Well, he just reaches down and grabs and just pulls them up maybe a half an inch. And he just keeps right on walking. And the crotch is down by his ankles. I'm going, how do they do that? <laughs> anyway, that, I love watching people at the airport. It's very amusing. Very amusing. I love that. I want you to know that I have, um, Chevy introduced me to Clint. Clint is her, he's, he's, God, is he gorgeous. I don't know if I could get a picture to show you, but anyway, he's gorgeous, but he's gay. That's okay. He's still nice to look at, right? But anyway, she introduced me to TikTok. I don't know if y'all ever seen TikTok. I know what TikTok is. I didn't. But she introduced me to them. And ever since then, I've been watching these crazy people. I love the dance. And I'm thinking, now, can I do that? You know, where they go, do, 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 do. Well, anyway. Oop, oop. There's some old ladies on there that does that. But I don't know. I could probably do better than they did. I can move, you know. Wendy and I did a little dance. We danced around one day in the kitchen. <laughs> But anyway, I have been introduced to TikTok, Instagram. I posted some pictures at the airport and stuff on Instagram. That was fun. Uh, let's see. I have a thank you. I want to thank Canadian Crutcher for sending us our Canadian hats. You see it right here. That was from Debbie, the Canadian Crutcher. And she sent us each a hat. And she sent some candy. I, I didn't have any candy there, but I, Debbie, I tried. I wanted to try some of that candy, so I took it with me and put it in my uh, uh, carry-on package. Because I didn't want to leave it in my suitcase. It would have melt. Being in Florida, it was just too hot. So I had it in my carry-on. And I ate. I took like five. Well, one of each, I think. Maybe two Kit Kats and one of the other. So maybe it was six. Good. It was so good very very nice thank you and the chips i got one chip from one bag and one chip from the other bag gone i go looking for them and they're gone those girls ate all my chips not all my chips or our chips but they were delicious i love the ones with the ketchup on it Whew, they were tasty very very tasty i love those but i want to thank you for the wonderful gifts that was so nice of you to think about and we really missed you as you well know i sent you messages and pictures and all that goop goop but uh we sure did miss you i think you would have really enjoyed yourself it was really crazy we did a little bit of everything but we were very relaxed we did some crocheting i can't tell you how much crocheting i we did but we did and uh since i left uh wendy's already on her second sweater she sent me the um where to find the pattern and I've got to get that done so I told you about TikTok that I learned from Chevy Chevy taught me something else I can't remember I can't remember but we talked about everything we talked about YouTube channels uh, we talked about podcasters what we liked about their channels what uh, just chit chat about everything we were very open with each other I think we were very honest with each other they were just um, uh, no hiccups or anything like that. Uh, Wendy did very well. I was very proud of her. She really, really kept very strong. And I think it was good for her. She, she, uh, first of all, she didn't eat that much. She didn't sleep that much, but she, she slept and she ate. And I mean, she ate. She was so good. Even at Mitchie Channel, she ate everything on her plate. I was so proud of her. Okay. So I thanked Wendy. I mean, I thanked Debbie. And then, Mrs. Wessa, I have got to thank you. It was a wonderful time. Um, I want to thank you for the gifts that you gave us. Um, and um, she gave us uh, a few little gifts. And, and I'm not going to show you. you don't, they're just special for us. But she did give some yarn uh, to dye. We never got around to dyeing them. But um, it was, um, all the yarn had a lot of wool in it. So I split it up between um, Cheryl and Chevy and gave them 
uh, my my yarn because they could they have, you know they could probably make uh dye some and make some pretty things out of that wool uh let's see chevy read our tarot cards oh yeah very interesting i loved it i even made a video i haven't watched the whole thing yet but i'll have to watch it and um maybe put it on the end of this or something or or you know cut it and so y'all could see how she did it but she, but for me being almost 76 years old there wasn't much to tell <laughs> i've already done it all i don't have that much in front of me so there really wasn't i mean it was mostly um i'm very grounded or whatever whatever the word she used i can't remember but anyway so i'm i'm cool i'm cool with that but cheryl she had hers read several times and had asked questions and she got some answers but chevy's very good on it she's very read um very read up on it and what these cards mean and and so and how they um uh, correspond with each other how they help each other or not help each other or, or you know the good bad and the ugly i guess you would say uh let's see oh debbie i think wendy thank you very much cheryl i have to thank cheryl cheryl um made wallets for all of us and she made one for my friend karen who i loved it and they the girls all loved it and they were wrapped in a and we had to pick one well it turned out we picked the right the ones that we should have had that match you know whatever we were doing so cheryl thank you so much they're beautiful and she also um gave me a, a purse that she had showed me before but she brought it with her and it it was really beautiful i have already started putting stuff in it already so cheryl thank you so much that was so not, very very kind of you to do that for all of us and it is a nice remembrance of our time together uh, I made coin purses and eyeglass cases and took those and, and gave them out as gifts. And um, so we all had a little something for each other. And Chevy brought some popcorn and let's see, what else? A uh, candy and some Indiana candy, chocolate. And uh, I accused them all of taking mine. I thought they had taken it. Guess where it was? right beside my bed i took it in my room put it in my bed <laughs> mm -hmm. so thank you cheryl and chevy and wendy um wendy has two daughters erica and taylor and she has two grandchildren we got to meet them andrew and carson carson is the cutest little girl she's got these the toe heads, both of them are toe heads, but she's got these curl curls. It reminds me of me when I was a little girl. I just had these little ringlets. She had ringlets she, all over her head, and he was a curly toe head too. Now, uh, Car um, he was three, and Carson is five, five or six, five, I think. Cutest two little children you've ever seen in your life, and just fun. And I'm so disappointed I didn't get to meet them again before I left. And uh, if I'm ever invited again, I'd like to spend more time with the children. They are so cute. Well, they'll be, you know, they could be older and might not be cute anymore. But they are. They're cute. They're just that little Andrews. And, uh, I mean, everything, the accommodations, everything was wonderful. And I'm going to show you, um, the one thing I am going to show you is uh, Wendy had two... Uh, plastic containers of her mother's costume jewelry and she said I want you to go through it and if you see something that you like you know you can have it so I did and I, I did I didn't get to go back through I went through both boxes but I didn't go back to the um the boxes with the chains and stuff I was going to take the chains and use them on my purses but I didn't get a chance to get back to that so let me show you some of the brooches that were in there. They're so pretty. Um, 
I don't know if I need to put it up on a piece of paper or what. But look at this brooch. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. So I took that one. I think I took all the brooches. And then I love this one. This has got the fall colors in it. They've got to be clean. I'm going to clean them. But isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Sparkle. Sparkle. And then this one. This one needs to be cleaned. I have to clean this. But look at that one. Look at that. And these would be easy to pin and sew down. So that's cool. And I love this one. It's a leaf with a pearl at the end of the leaf. See that? Isn't that pretty? That's going to look pretty on my bags, too. And this one is like a circle pen. And it's got all of its stones. But it's gold. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And, let's see. This, this is kind of tiny, but I thought it looked great on one of my little coin purses. It's a frog. Look at that little frog. Isn't he cute? He's got green eyes. And then this is like a, I was going to say it's a pearl, but it's not. I think it's like a mother of pearl or something. But he's got little green eyes. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. And then this was a Christmas pen. It's a snowman. Isn't he cute? There we go. Has his little scarf on. There he is. So I like him. And then this is like, oh, I guess what we used to call a circle pen. Let's see if you can see that. It has some, it has markings on it, but I can't read it yet. I got to clean it first. Isn't that cute? It's cute. That would look good on it. And then this pen has a bear and it looks like an antelope and a deer and a buffalo on it. Now that has markings on it too, but I have to see. It's like porcelain. Isn't that cute? I love that pen. That is so nice. That's going to be cute too. Then she had some very interesting earrings. And I'll just show you the one. Here, maybe I could do it like this. They're all clip-ons. But I could take the clip off. Here, let me show you just a couple. Her mother was hey to die for these are going to look great i'm going to clip them on this since they're clip-ons i'll clip them onto this paper here so you can see i don't know how she wore these things some of them are heavy now i'm just putting one of each but i'm going to use all of these i see that's a pen so that's did i put the gold let me put the gold on here so you can see them all at one time. I don't know how she wore these clip-ons. They would have killed my ears. But they're going to look great. Now I'll probably use both. And I found a pair that were very pretty. And I put it on the bag that I gave her. I said, here, your, your mom earrings. Could be, it'll be close to you. Okay, is that it? Da -da -da. Oh, I got this one. Okay, let's see how this goes. These are heavy. These are heavy. Can you see these? Okay, these are the earrings. But look at this one, this one, and this one. They're going to be great on bags, and there'll be two of them, so. Oh, yeah. Her mama was sharp, baby. Sharp. And then there's this little, this is like a bar pen. I guess they call them bar pens. This white and gold little bar pen but yes she gave me all these and I'm just so excited I'm gonna I took them out of the little baggies that she had and I'm putting them in um, put them in my you know my little fishing thing that I use for for my bags and stuff so that was really excited um, 
I just had a really nice time. I am in the process of recuperating. I was just, um, the neuropathy just whew, hit me hard. My legs just hurt so bad. And uh, my hands, the fibro, between fibro, chronic fatigue syndrome and all that, it just, it was really tough. Um, if I can't, if I can't enter pictures or anything on here, I'll put it at the end maybe. So if I can't put them in the middle. So I'm going to close this now because it's 45 minutes. And then I'm going to do another video and I'll show you some of the stuff um, that um, I've been working on while I'm laying on the couch sleeping. I'd sleep for about two or three hours and wake up for about a half an hour or so. And then I'd go back to sleep. And I've just been trying to zen out. And, um, you know, when you're used to being around a lot of people and a lot of things going on. And you're used to being by yourself. You need time to just kind of relax and take it easy. And... All that good stuff so I will do another video and I will show you what I've been working on and I also uh, I have things to mail out I'm sorry guys I just didn't feel like getting it all out this week but I will Bing! but I will um, I will I am going to start working tomorrow for sure uh, I got a couple little projects in there that I've been working on and I'll show you those and uh, didn't get much done you know, on vacation, but we, we worked at it. <laughs> Between eating and sleeping, and I took a nap every day, guys. I took a nap every day. Found my couch that I needed. So every day I'd lay down. I mean, I would just get tired, and I'd lay down in my little spot, and I'd fall asleep for an hour or two. So that's what I had to do. So it was wonderful. I am I didn't want to come home. I mean, I just love Virginia. The weather was absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God, to die for. It was so cool and oh no humidity and the breeze, the wind would blow. Oh, and I got, I sat, when Karen was there, I sat like here and I had this whole side got sunburned. I don't know. Well, you can't see it now, but it was sunburned. It faded really fast, didn't it? <laughs> so I got a lot of vitamin D, but it was, it was a, a lot of fun and um, I hope that Wendy will invite me back again and uh, and you know all that work I did before I left I walked in and my house was clean the kitchen was clean the floor was clean now if you look at it now all my all my projects are out there eh, there's nowhere to work in here so but I got everything out there I don't know what the heck I live here nobody comes visit me so I'll do my thing uh, update on my sister and brother-in-law um, David had a few falls while I was gone um, they're taking care of that and um, doing fine they're doing the best they can and um, so it's um, progressing yeah um, and I hope I'm going to try to get up there next week uh, just for a visit and see if she's um, if there's a day that she needs to do some stuff and I can come up and sit with David for a little bit. I promise I won't do anything drastic. I'll just come and be there with him. So um, make sure he goes to the bathroom before she leaves. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Betty, I'll be giving you a call. I'll come up next week and uh, I can do things. I can do things. I can fold clothes and do laundry and stuff like that. Yeah, that reminds me, I need to go over, oh, it's almost five o'clock. I wonder what time they close. I need to go over and get uh, some money on my cart for doing laundry. We have these little cards that you stick in the washer and dryer, you know? So I need to get my card, some money on my card. I have been walking around to my knees hurt, but uh, I'll tell you in the other video what's been helping me since I got home. And you know that little patch, Cheryl, Chevy, you know, and Wendy, you know that little patch we were talking about? Well, I tried it. <laughs> I'll tell you about that in the next video. Hi, everybody. We are now at a apple orchard. And the other three girls are out 
uh, checking out the apple spice, sp apple spice, apple cider. I can't talk. I am so tired. <laughs> but I'm sitting here in the car because I just can't, um, uh, I've had enough. My poor body doesn't want to move. So, um, I'm a little late in getting, we're going to, supposed to do a live here with all of us. Um, but we haven't uh, made it home yet. We were running a little late. We got held up at the very beginning. We got out on time, but then we had a few things that happened, and we had to um, move move the schedule up a little bit. So I'm I'm going to sh uh, transfer over now to show you the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains, and the apple orchard is at the top of this mountain, and we're looking on it now. But I want to show you. Oops, let me get this out of the way. This is the Blue Ridge Mountains. As you see right in front of us, this is the parking lot. And those are the, the mountains going down there. It goes all the way around. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful day. It's probably like 72, a little bit of a breeze. We went to Mitchie Tavern and had lunch. We went downtown Charlottesville and we um, did a little yarn shopping. We went to a yarn shop and I actually got, I mean, you're not going to believe this, but I actually got some sock yarn to knit. I thought I'd knit a pair of socks. So I'm really, I'm really excited about that. And, um, but we wanted to get the live going, but we're running a little bit late. But the, since we're out and we're at this part of town, we wanted to get as much done. But I I couldn't handle um, the walking anymore. So I said, I'll just sit here and wait. And I thought I'd catch up on things. So that's where we are now. We've had a, I've had a wonderful time. It's, it's, uh, Wendy's hospitality is and all of us, I'm not going to tell you who the mystery guest is, because you'll know who it is when you see when you see the live. But it's like we've all we've all known each other forever. We just all fit in. We've had a wonderful time. We've talked. It just all kinds of stuff, which you will hear about later. So right now, I just want to sign off and say hi, and um, we're going to piece together some some of the videos that we've taken and some pictures and all that good stuff. But we have been um, crocheting and we've been knitting and talking and talking and talking and talking and playing. We've been sitting outside uh, crocheting the other day. I mean, we just, we each have a chair and we nested. <laughs> we sit at that chair and we nested. We've got all of our projects around the chair and We've got stuff that we munch on. I got grapes next to my chair. And um, we munch. And, oh, the food is unbelievable. I'm telling you, Wendy just did a marvelous job on all the food. So it's just, and it was too much for us. We don't, she wants to cook every night, but we, none of us are really big eaters. So um, so we're working, working on that, trying to get her out of the kitchen. She insists on cooking but we had a big late lunch early dinner and that'll tie us over for the night and then tomorrow um, my girlfriend from Centerville Virginia is coming down for the day and she'll be here about 11 30 or 12 and I think the some of the girls are going to go to uh, do a little more yarn shopping at Michael's or something so um, but I'm going to rest tomorrow um, I have a feeling that tomorrow's not gonna be a good day for me but Anyway, so that's happening tomorrow, and then I'll have Thursday will be my last full day because I leave sat, uh, Friday morning, and uh, Cheryl leaves on Saturday, so um, they'll have things. But but we've been we've been vegging out. I mean, we haven't. This is the first time we've been out all week, you know, since Friday, and it's. Um, trying to cram everything in one day, but it's, we're doing fine. We're having a wonderful time. It's been, it's been, um, I can't explain it to you. It's like, we've known each other all our lives, all of us. And it's, um, 
it really has been a wonderful experience for me. And um, it almost makes me want to cry. <laughs> and to meet Cheryl and everything. But we'll talk about all that later. Um, so right now, we're gonna, uh, Wendy's two daughters are coming over tonight and, with the children. And we're going to meet them. Or we're going to meet the kids. We just met her daughters. They had lunch with us up at, at Mitchie Tavern. I saw my cozies are in there, some of them. And my potato bags. There's only about... I think there was like four potato bags left. And the cozies, uh, there were a few cozies left. Um, the small ones and the large ones. I had two sizes for, in there. But they're not really buying anything right now because of the COVID and things have been kind of slow. So, but I saw some of the beautiful work that uh, Wendy is a beautiful crocheter. You would not believe the... Every room in her house has a little bit of something that she's made and it's displayed in her home. And it's just absolutely um, a beautiful place for a retreat. And um, it's been uh, it's been wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, listen, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Just a short video that will tie in with the rest. So hopefully they'll be here soon and we can get on the road again and get home and get our live going. So I'll talk to you later, everybody. Take care. Bye.